left speaker, left, left, left. testing the right speaker, right, right. testing phaser, 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 full frequency suite. Stand by. Stand by for music radio creative live with Mike Russell. MRC Live. Music radio creative live with Mike Russell. Starting in 30 seconds. Oh, oh, you caught me without my headphones on. How about that? Oh, crazy, crazy stuff. Uh, right, how are you? Hope you're doing all right today. Uh, my name is Mike Russell. Uh, I'm an audio producer uh, from the Isle of Wight in the UK. Uh, and I'm here to, my mission is to help you become the best you can be at audio production, digital editing, uh, making jingles, uh, making your voice sound better, uh, applying EQ, compression, that kind of stuff. Anything else, um, editing music in bed <laughs> or editing music beds uh, some very strange action going on behind me over over there uh, a, a large giant size uh, finger is, is twiddling a dial uh, there on a, a radio tuner very very strange stuff uh, so yes hello welcome to the show brilliant to be here and uh, today we're going to be editing music beds inside Adobe Audition we might use a few beats from Logic Pro as well at some point during the show. Uh, so all of that kind of stuff and a lot more. Plus, of course, answering your questions. Your questions. So get them in. Uh, just type into the chat box wherever you're watching, whether that's YouTube Live, Facebook Live. You might be over on Twitch today or uh, watching on Periscope or one of our uh, various other uh, networks. Like Mixer, VK, OK... Picato, Mob Crush, Daily Motion, and more. Yeah. The audio guru is here. He knows Adobe Audition in and out and is here to help you out. Mike Russell. Absolutely. So, uh, yeah. Thank you for watching the show today. Uh, remember, you can catch up with uh, everybody over at the community after this show ends. So if uh, there's a question you've got and you haven't got time to ask it in the live chat today, head over to community.musicradiocreative.com and ask your question there. There's lots of friendly people in the community. That's community.musicradiocreative.com and I'm in there occasionally too. Audio production and more. This is Mike Russell on musicradiocreative.com All right, one more jingle. Oh, we've done that one. We've done that one. We've done that one. I know. He to help you Mike Russell. Let's try this one. Your audio production hour starts now. Musicradiocreative.com It certainly does. It starts right now uh, inside Adobe Audition. So uh, let's get cracking, shall we? Um, let's go into the multi-track of Adobe Audition as I'll be doing lots of uh, music bed uh, editing in there. Let's just call that session music bed editing. Here are my Adobe Audition presets. If you're interested in uh, accessing them for yourself, all the presets I use to produce audio and jingles, etc. Uh, add in music beds and sound effects uh, with nice buses for echo and vocal effects. Everything that I use to produce jingles available now at mrc.fm slash presets. That's mrc.fm slash presets. Right. Let's go back to the media browser and have a look here at uh, some of the various beds we've got. Oh, yes, I do like it when you've got a music bed that's labelled 138 BPM. That's nice, isn't it? It's good to know that. So uh, let's drag that over into the music track here. Uh, and this is typical for a piece of library music. Uh, let's have a play. Oh, hang on. We've got something going on with our audio interface today. Uh, preferences which you can also access up in Adobe Audition Preferences here. Uh, let's have a look at the audio hardware I'm using. Uh, yes, the Scarlett 2i2. Uh, let's switch that over to my mixing desk, the Soundcraft Signature 12 MTK. There we go. And let's assign those channels correctly. So the input is usually my microphone, and the output is going to be channel 7 and 8, which is a stereo fader on my mixing desk. Right, now we should hear this. Yes, we do. 
So there's a 138. That's rather happy trance, isn't it? 138 BPM uh, bed that goes on for uh, about a minute, uh, just about a minute 10 there with some decay at the end. So um, the easiest way for a producer to do this is to um, discover how much of the bed you need. Um, so I can do that in a couple of ways. First of all, I might be making, say, a 30-second promo. So I want it to kind of end there. And the the quick fire edit way to make your bed 30 seconds is just count the beats and find beat one. Whoa, this is hardcore. Sorry, I didn't realize how hardcore this bed would be. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. And that's a nice break because there's a sort of backward symbol there. So that's probably going to work perfectly there. So just where we go there, let's find the beat. The beat is there. There's the next beat. And I'm just making a little slice there so that I can also slice here, bring this tail in, match it up. This is the quickest way to make a bed uh, your choice. But obviously you need to sort of really feel the beat, as it were, of this track. Let me just check that synchronized. Yeah, that's pretty nicely synchronized. It's easy to see the beats in this bed, so very, very easy uh, to sync things up on another channel. Let's be really exact about this. Let's zoom right in. Whoa, that's super. Can you see the curves are exactly the same? Uh, so if I match that curve with that curve, look at those curves, virtually exactly the same. Now we're going to be super on beat. And a real, real simple uh, technique here. Delete the rest of that bed. Uh, let's cut about there. Hold down shift so we don't lose the, the time. Uh, otherwise, it'll just move around in time. And move it up there. It does the crossfade. And there you go. The decay ends around 30. So it's a, it's a perfect 30-second bed now. Maybe not quite as uh, smooth as we'd like. So you can just drag the crossfade out. This is the cool thing. Adobe Audition automatically crossfades for you. Look at that. It's a thing of beauty, that crossfade. It's fading out the initial audio there, and it's fading in uh, the, the beat just before uh, the end decay there. Boom. Okay, might want to tighten that up. Maybe even tighten. Sometimes it's better just to tighten right up. That kind of works, doesn't it? So there you go. Now you've uh, changed a bed that was 1 minute 10 seconds into 30 seconds, as simply as that. There are some other hacks that you can follow. Uh, if you wanted to, you could just delete that and then... Okay, now that makes a nice loop, and I see I've got loop mode on, so at the end... You hear how that's a, that's a perfect loop, because I'm cutting right on the beat. Uh, and what I can do here is let's switch off loop mode for a second we can do like what's known as a false ending uh, we'll just find a little bit of that audio and edit the music bed this way bring that down onto a new track in fact we might even pop out our own new track uh, alter option a to create a brand new track or you can just right click uh, track add mono or stereo track i advise it to be stereo especially if you're working with music and then we'll just uh, we'll add a little bit of reverb on this track and give it that kind of false reverby ending. Studio reverb will do it. About four sec, just over four seconds of reverb. Let's make it all wet and see how that sounds. Hear that? Let's solo that. Let's go back in time and play. Very, very nice. How does that look in waveform view? Let's have a look. Uh, Multi-track, bounce down, selected track. Oh, uh, one problem we've got with that is we need to select a bit of the... Uh, Audio whiz, that's four seconds, isn't it? That'll be about right. If you don't select the time selection, it only bounces that bit of the wave. It doesn't bounce the decay, which is unfortunate. There you go, that's what you've got. It's a nice, nice little reverb decay there. Works really well. Studio reverb will do it nice, quickly, efficiently. Make sure you're only using the wet. You don't need the dry. If you still need some of the original dry, you can grab it from the track above, which is your master track. Doesn't sound right though, does it? Listen to that. Can you hear? There's a little gap, isn't there? When when this bed comes to a harsh end and before the reverb kicks in, so I might just pull it out and just do a little fa linear fade out there. And uh, let's try again. No, still not sounding right. So you do need to kind of tweak this a little bit to get the desired effect. Nearly there, nearly there, but you can still just hear 
but it's edited and not sounding too nice. Almost, almost. Bring it along a little bit more. Now we've got a problem with the next beat coming in, so being a little bit trigger happy there. Let's move that in. Still hear a little bit of that beat number one coming in. Move that back a bit more. That's kind of getting there, isn't it? Not quite as powerful as the original one, which was to take the tail and just mix it in like that. So you can do things like that. Uh, many other ways you can edit beds. We'll also get into Logic, maybe create some beats uh, and have a mess about with some music bed editing for your own desire. Might even edit some stems of some of the music radio creative jingles as well. Uh, whatever you want, really, on this live stream. It's kind of, it's your live stream. So if there's something you're watching me do right now and you'd really like to know some more about it, then post right now in the uh, in the comments comments and let me know what it is you'd like to see. Um, obviously you see here using these triangles at either end uh, you can sort of move that in. Something else that might be worth to do is move the triangles in here to add fade in and out on this little bit here for the reverb and I'm just going to move this along a little bit. And the coolest thing with Adobe Audition CC 2018 now if I hold down the alt or option key we get like uh, symmetrical uh, fades like that which is quite nice. Uh, for a piece of audio like that that we're using solely for reverb. Sounds quite good. We can always drag it back a bit and then you'll get a bit of the preceding beat. Bit of a longer effect. And that actually sounds a bit nicer, doesn't it? Let's have a listen now. Let's move that right back so we sort of slowly fade it in. So getting smoother, so you can do that kind of stuff. Um, Oh, there is another effect as well. Uh, it's definitely worth to show you this. Uh, let's just move that over. And we'll get sort of like one whole beat there. Weird, isn't it? But switch off the reverb and you've got this. Just like literally one beat. Uh, you can have another dead ending using echo, for instance. If this is 130 BPM, hang on, let me go to my rather trendy and modern BPM calculator. It's such a cool high-tech tool. It's called a website. <laughs> this is brilliant. Um, yeah, I use this often to calculate uh, the milliseconds uh, for a certain BPM. So 138 BPM, 435217. That's what I need to know. 435217. And then... Can you hear that, the way it decays? Lovely, isn't it? So that's another kind of false ending you can do for music beds. And then take that off solo, bring it into context. So another way you can end. And the best thing is with uh, the certainly the Echo in Adobe Audition, you've got the opportunity to choose which frequencies you'd like to enhance or focus on uh, when the Echo continues. So at the moment it's very trebly. We could like bring this all down and we could just focus on, on the mid-range like this. So that's a kind of very boxy mid-range kind of echo there. Or if you want to go a real bassy, beaty echo, let's bring up those bass bits. Don't really want to go above one, otherwise you're going to be increasing the bass rather than decreasing it. So that's not too bad, is it? Although it's a little bit loud, you can, but you can hear that kind of nightclub-y kind of ending to it. Quite nice. And if we want to like enhance it a bit more, bring the feedback and echo level up. Quite nice. And then if you want to go super trendy, uh, I do advise uh, plugins from a multitude of different companies. Uh, I'm a big fan of Isotope, Melda Production, who do the M Free Effects bundle. It's really cool. It's free and uh, Waves Audio. Um, so I'm going to use a Waves Audio plugin. I believe they've got a Black Friday sale on right now. And if you'd like to use a coupon, mrc.fm slash waves will get you a further 10% off, even if it's a discounted price from what I understand. So really, really cool deals going on with Waves right now. mrc.fm slash waves uh, to get uh, that deal for yourself. One knob filter, you've probably seen me use this before. And to show you how it could work on um, this Echo... I'm going to turn the resonance on this right up to extreme, uh, which is very squeaky. Let me show you. 
Can you hear that? That's cool, isn't it? Um, what I'm going to do with the echo is just uh, throw in a few more frequencies so it's kind of more audible echo. Let's do something like this. You can really hear that. And rather than twiddle the knob myself, I'm just going to put down this automation. And obviously, I'm going to show the envelope for the one knob filter. And I'm going to go from 10 all the way down to zero like this. Watch the knob as, uh, as this bed ends. That's actually a bit slow, but I'm sure you can probably hear what it's doing. It's kind of whooshing that, uh, that bed down as it ends. Let's bring it in a bit tighter so it goes faster. You can probably afford to go even faster than that. Let's try this. <laughs> Something like that. So you see, uh, one knob just adds a little bit of extra finesse to the whole thing. I hope that helps you. Oh yeah, we've got a phone-in number. Uh, you can leave a message there if you like, but I do prefer it if you call me live, because if you call when I'm live streaming between the hours of 2pm and 3pm UK time, I will actually pick up the phone and talk to you. 415-800-1055 Remember to add plus one if you're outside the United States and check how much it's going to cost you to call the US first as well. Music Radio Creative Radio yeah. I would love to hear from you, so 415 800 1055 is the number. The audio guru is here. He knows Adobe Audition in and downtown is here to help you out, Mike Russell. Uh, I do like to try and check my voicemail messages daily because uh, I do have access to a nice little. Uh, inbox i'm just logging in now on the fly because i haven't looked at it today just to see if there's any uh message oh uh let's have a look here mrc live uh um no no new messages today so go on give me a call or uh if you don't want to get on live with me you don't have to you just wait till i finish in 45 minutes and uh, and call the number or maybe you're listening on demand to the podcast or something at mrc.fm slash podcast uh call that number any time of the day, whenever you're feeling lonely, just call it up and uh, you'll be able to leave a message. And I might even play it on the uh, the next show. So how about that? Right, let's feature some of your questions. Always love, love to do this. And uh, we got Cyber Larson in there. A very good morning to you there in the United States. Lovely to have you watching. Nice to see uh, a few of the moderators in as well. Really grateful uh, for all that the moderators do. Isabella Russell is there. Uh, David Silk is in today. Uh, who else have we got? I've seen Joe Salmi is there as well. So really, really appreciate you guys, everything you do in the live chat and also over at the community as well. Uh, who else have we got? We got uh, Prince Vega as well saying hello today. RV Pack Production. I'm doing very well. Thank you for asking. Uh, Dominique uh, says hello and greetings from Radio Compass in Belgium. Well, it's it's wonderful to have you watching. Uh, Tim is in the house. Tim is in the house. Tim, 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 Tim is in the house. Yeah. He's in the house. In the house. 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 How weird. Okay. <laughs> Let's get back to it. What else have we got here? Uh, we've got Mr. Mega Radio UK. Been listening to the Irish jingle. Oh, yes. I do like the Irish jingle. Shall we have a bit of the Music Radio Creative Irish theme? It's this one. It's a really nice jingle. Thanks, uh, Liam, for the kind comment there that you're enjoying this jingle. I believe we've customised it for you. If you want to customise any of the jingles, by the way, that you hear on the show, I don't mention this often enough, but just go over to musicradiocreative.com. If you can't find what you want on the website, just contact us and we'll help you customise these jingles for your own radio station or podcast, or DJ set, or your own business, whatever it is that you do that needs creative audio. Your audio production hour starts now. Music Radio Creative.com Oh yeah, David Silk's asking, uh, this is referring to a previous live stream that I, uh, I did where we had some uh, problem uh, with the BPM being stuck on 120. It is the echo effect. Uh, let me just show you, actually because it's kind of relevant to exactly what I was showing you there. On the echo effect here, uh, it's actually uh, 
see whether we can close up on that for a second, uh, show you what it looks like. Uh, so I use milliseconds, and as you can see, that's locked to 138 right now. Um, if I move that over to beats, you're supposed to be able to say uh, one beat and half a beat, for instance, and then what I would hope is the, the BPM that you set as the overall multi-track uh, BPM, which you can do um, fairly easily. I'll show you how that's possible. If you right-click on your ruler and go into Time, Display, Edit Tempo, so I could take this to 138 BPM, for instance. But the strange thing is, and I think this has been a bug for a little while, um, it's not possible uh, to um, to actually get uh, 138 BPM or anything else to um, uh, to work with the echo effect. So, yeah, beats. See? Something's off there. Anyway, I don't know. I suppose I should uh, probably get back to doing some editing. Um, bear with me a second. Right. Let's have a look here. Um, about a total mind blank. <laughs> um, let's have a look at... Um, hang on, let's close all of this. And um, we will go into, bear with me a second. Right. Okay, I'm just going to get some different beds up. Hang on. Oh, this is very strange. Right, let's go for, right, okay. Um, let's start a new session. Music beds. So, yeah, um, let's actually, hang on, let's go back to something else. Uh, rock. No, sorry, that's sad. Rock. Here we go. Um, I will edit uh, a rock music bed for you. This is a three minute piece. Let's bring this in. Just to show you again, like, obviously I like to work with dance music quite a lot, but um, I understand that not all formats are dance. So uh, let's do a quick edit on this one. Now the coolest thing is, when you're creating a music bed, you really can customize it to your own length. Say I want this to be 20 seconds. Oh, and I'm going to show you a cool cheat in Adobe Audition in just a moment. Okay, so that's the that's the first beat there. So if I cut around there, and then cut around here, I can just drag this in like that. Um, and this is going to be just over 20 seconds, but you'll get the idea on how you can easily edit. You can do a crossfade, make it a smoother. So that's a 20 second music bed there now. It goes on for 20 seconds, let's talk over it. Hello, welcome to Music Radio Creative Live. And this is a pretty much exactly 20 second music bed. Although no, maybe it's just slightly over, 21 second. But that doesn't matter. As long as you edit on beat one and end your music bed on beat one, you'll be absolutely golden. There you go, that's a editing of a rock music bed 20 seconds uh, down from three minutes another thing that you can do uh, that I often see uh, done in radio is is just get the first four beats here and do something like this create yourself a little sting hang on that's not quite right You'll probably make that a bit tighter. So a quick sting. Sometimes that's good if you're doing like a news program or something that needs little transitions. Just edit the first four beats. Or even uh, you could just go ahead and uh, do something like this. Uh, or bring this in like this. Powerful rock guitar to transition from one part of your show to the next. Uh, so many ways you can do it. Now... Another thing uh, that has been done in the past by many a producer, look at this, this is one minute and eight seconds. Let's just mute this. Okay, so you get the idea of that music bed, one minute and eight seconds, but say we wanted it exactly one minute. There are different forms of time stretch and I'm gonna show them to you now. Um, and I'm gonna show you all of these before I show you the really cool uh, effect that's recently come in and one of the recent versions of Adobe Audition makes life much easier for editing music beds. But I want to show you the kind of theory behind it all first before I dive in and show you something that will make your life easy. 
because I always think it's good to understand how these things work. Okay, so just tightening that up at the start, and then we'll find where that last beat is, so around here. So this is the length I want it to be, so that's 106, about there. So at 106.496, I reckon the music bed ends and it's just okay, maybe a little bit more. Uh, 106.645. And then if we go into uh, effects, time and pitch, and we go to stretch and pitch, I can then now type in a new duration here and change that from 106.645 to 100, like that. And it tells me the stretch is going to be 90%, which is really, really, that's quite a lot of stretching. Uh, and it's also going to pitch shift it. So you will hear it go from this, the original, to this. Hang on, wait for it to process. Oh! Hi, you're listening to Chipmunk FM. No, not really what we want. Uh, so then, that's where you can use something like lock, stretch, and pitch shift, resample. And this does some clever little magic, and we should get something that sounds reasonable now. <laughs> So it's just sped, sped it up a little bit, but it hasn't messed about with the pitch so much. In fact, it does say it shifted it by a few semitones, 1.82 semitones. Uh, but anyway, we're, going, we're aiming for that new duration of one minute. Uh, but obviously this is uh, applying uh, actually the isotope algorithm to make that. Now you should see that ends bang on the one minute mark, which is where we want it to be. Uh, so you can do that, uh, and sometimes radio producers will do this on the whole ad, so they'll produce an ad, it'll be 32 seconds, but it needs to be 30 seconds exactly, and they'll just take the whole thing and just time stretch the whole finished product, which I don't really advise, um, because then you're kind of using the stretching algorithm on voiceover, on music, on the whole lot. Uh, so not one of the best ways. If you can, make the cuts in the multi-track, do things like that. You can also uh, do time stretch inside the multi-track. Just going to undo that. So I can do this. Uh, and the coolest thing about the multi-track, as long as you tick this box here, which says toggle global clip stretching, uh, I can go to the one minute mark here. And I can just simply drag that right uh, white triangle there. It actually says stretch if I hover over it and bring that last beat onto the one minute mark and drop it like that. And Adobe Audition will do its best to stretch without ruining the music uh, to your new time. And it kind of does, doesn't it, pretty well. Um, you can look into properties to see exactly what it's doing. And if you scroll down uh, on, uh, actually we need to select the clip we're working on. Uh, stretch is already popped out here, as you can see. It's the real-time mode, um, but I always recommend using rendered high quality. It takes a little bit longer, but well worth it. And uh, give it a second. As you can see, it's not pitching the audio at all. It is just simply stretching your audio to a new duration. Uh, and when we get this back in just a moment, you will see how it's worked. Sounds good, doesn't it? Yeah, there we go. Uh, and you've got different uh, stretch types as well. Monophonic, polyphonic, very speed. Monophonic is uh, is the best in most cases. Now I'm going to get onto another ninja technique you can use because that's all very well doing a bit of time stretching if you want to stretch it, you know, from one minute six seconds to one minute. But what if you want to make it like ten seconds or twenty seconds and you don't even want to edit? I will show you that in just a moment from now. Uh, but let's take a look at uh, a few more of your lovely conversations. Okay, so what have we got here? Uh, oh, Robert is asking the great question, how do you match the BPM on two songs? I have demonstrated that before. Uh, it's fairly easy for me to demonstrate this again. Let's do it with these two tracks that we've got going on now. So you can see the beats on both of these tracks matching up here. And you can see how, let's just find the first four uh, beats of the first bar of this track. Uh, so I might need to drag it out a bit. Okay, so that's the first beat of the second bar just there. And then we'll find the first four beats on this bar. This is the easiest way really to do it in Audition as far as I know anyway. Okay, and that's where the first beat of the second bar is there. So as you can see, a bit of time difference off. As long as you've got the uh, global time stretching or clip stretching enabled, you can just simply now just drag this over to match like that. 
boom. And we're doing a rendered high quality stretch as well. Now we should find that both of these match if we solo them both together. Almost, almost, just not quite spot on there. Uh, let's see if we can tighten that up a bit more. Let's move that up a little bit. And then we just need to tighten here as well. Boom. Okay, cool. Looking good. Let's listen. Okay, you can hear how it's working. And again, if we look at the bit, yep, everything's matching there. Don't really sound great together, but you can always uh, roll off a few frequencies and maybe roll them together somehow. Uh, if you're finding that your timings are rolling off after a little while, you just might want to go in and adjust that time stretch ever so slightly uh, further down the line. The way to do that is just to cut and stretch out there. So let's have a look back now. Now you can see that time stretch is looking a lot better. So it's just a bit of accuracy improving. Obviously, programs like Logic and DJ Pro will do this for you uh, in a kind of easier fashion. And they'll also give you the, they'll automatically usually detect the BPM of a track and help you to um, to work with it. So really hope that helps you, uh, Robert Doman. And thank you very much for asking. Uh, who else have we got? And what other questions have we got here? Uh, gotta love that no. Oh. Knob, <laughs> says David Silk. Yeah, the uh, One Knob series from Waves, a really, really good bunch of uh, plugins. I think actually they are on a Black Friday sale at the moment over at Waves. So yeah, really, really cool stuff. Do use them quite often. Certainly the One Knob uh, filter and the One Knob. What's the other One Knob that I've got in my, my rack that I use quite often? Let me just look it up. I've got One Knob filter from Waves and uh, One Knob um, driver. But I've never really been sort of um, pushed to uh, over the edge to to buy any others in the One Knob series. But if you can get a good price on the whole set, then uh, why not? Yannick's watching from France. We've got Lucas uh, in Argentina as well. Nice to have you here. Uh, Daniel's watching in Israel. Good day to you, Daniel. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, my music sounds deserted. I'm in Adobe CS6 using Audition. Not sure what you mean by deserted, um, but maybe enhance that a little. Oh, too much bass. Uh, well, yeah, you can definitely roll off bass. I definitely advise you go back to the show that I did yesterday on using EQ. Uh, that may well help you. Wow, I'm honored to be on your 55-inch Samsung, Daniel. That sounds really cool. Streaming in 1080p, by the way. I have considered doing a 4K stream. I don't think the Internet's quite ready for 4K yet. And probably your TV screen isn't probably ready for my face in 4K either. So <laughs> Hassan's in from Norway. Uh, got Lewis in as well. Nice to see you, Lewis. Uh, Britek09 as well. How about mixing two beds smoothly? Isabella is asking. Hey, that's a, a great idea. Mixing two beds together smoothly. Well, that kind of ties in nicely to the fact that I've now uh, beat matched uh, these two uh, beds here. So say uh, we wanted to go the first uh, 10 seconds of this bed and then switch up into a new bed. So that's the, the first beat of the next bar there. And then we'll just bring this in. So if we've got them BPM match, this is going to be, this should be super smooth, this transition. Let's see how that sounds. Bit of a sort of lucky edit there, but let's try. Sounds like Seinfeld, doesn't it? That's uh, the Seinfeld intro. Uh, let's just uh, maybe bring in another beat here. Uh, again, we can we can use tricks like that um, that reverb. Uh, another thing that might be worth to do uh, just to smooth the transition. So if I just uh, copy that down to a new track here, let's pop out a new track actually. Move that up there. Add some reverb on this track here. Reverb. Studio reverb. Let's listen to that again. Let's maybe get rid of that bit. There we go. Bit of uh, false reverb or fake ending there. We'll merge that in nicely. And if you wanted to make it super smooth, what I could do is take the first beat of that. Actually, let's let's cut that out and uh, bounce that to a new track. Uh, so I'm going to bounce that. Bounce, bounce, bounce. 
bounce to new track, uh, selected clips only, boom. And because I did some time stretching, so I want to retain that. Uh, now I'm going to add a little bit of silence to the start of this. Insert silence like so. Uh, by the way, do keep asking questions away in the um, in the chat, as I always like to answer questions on the live stream whenever I'm able to. Um, so yeah, if you've got any questions as I'm rolling through this uh, uh, session today, feel free to post them, whether it be on Facebook, uh, YouTube, Twitch, wherever, and I'll do my best to uh, to get in and answer as much as I can. Uh, during this session. Let's just zoom out. Right, the first thing, I'm going to add some reverse reverb to the first beat of, uh, of that new track here. And before I do, I'm just going to place a marker there so I know where I'm at. And then I'm going to reverse the whole thing. Where are we? Sorry. Effects, reverse. There we go. And then effects, reverb, studio reverb. You hear that? It's quite nice. And then apply that normalize and then reverse so we've got nice start perfect so then uh, let's delete that and bring that bounce back in and we can use the marker as a little reference as to where we should be positioning this pull that in zoom 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 and According to the marker, we want to place that there. And we'll get something like this. Nice. Probably a little bit loud on the reverse reverb. Let me turn that down a bit. So you see how you can very smoothly make those edits and those transitions. So yeah, really, really good question there. Uh, and uh, yeah, happy to answer any others you've got. Uh, what else have we got here? We've got uh, David Silk saying, I stumbled on the BPM thing today in the Echo and thinking it's something we missed, but now you've shown me uh, it may actually be, a, a, yeah, something there, an error, I know. Now, hopefully get it sorted at some point. Um, reggae music is what Britek09 is interested in. Reggae. Wow, I wonder if we, we have a bit of reggae in the, uh, in the MRC music library. Pretty sure that we would do. Pretty sure that we'd have a bit of reggae. Bit of reggae? Shall I stick on some reggae? And I think I've got another reggae track as well. Hang on, let's let's try this one. Oh, hang on, <laughs> that's on the reverb track. Uh, let's play it again. Cool, with a weird scratch in it as well. Uh, so maybe we'll have a mess about with that in just a moment. Uh, mixing and crossfading and chopping smoothly to a time limit. My specialities, love it, says David. Yes, uh, you definitely need to be able to do this really quickly, especially if you work in a commercial production department or something like that. Or in a radio station, because of course, when you're creating stuff for podcasts and other things, they don't need to be exactly 30 or 40 seconds. But in radio, it's always been traditional to have like ads bang on a certain time. So there you go. Is there a place uh, you get music beds from? All over, really. Um, obviously, we, we sell a lot on our website at musicradiocreative.com. A lot of our libraries are specifically geared uh, to producers who want to have those uh, production libraries to use. But if you want a sort of more broad, across-the-spectrum uh, library of audio, somewhere that I uh, delve in from time to time is Audio Jungle. Audio Jungle is a good one to take a look at as well. Uh, did I study at a radio production school? No formal study, Daniel, uh, but I kind of, I was mentored through the years from my early teens, uh, right the way up till now. I still watch other producers and kind of think, how on earth did they do that? Um, but I was very fortunate to, to have some mentors when I started out in radio and that's kind of, I, I just kind of learned through experience and through being thrown into uh, production rooms of radio stations uh, to, to put things together. Um, yeah, but I, I had some fantastic mentors uh, who really sort of passed the knowledge on to me. So it's kind of my, my mission now is in the digital age to keep that knowledge flowing. Because <laughs> uh, as I said, as I mentioned uh, and alluded to briefly yesterday, uh, a lot of people aren't getting into um 
radio stations anymore or, or physically going in to do the work. They're learning online. So I want to make sure that that uh, information is is kind of freely available. Uh, David says it's a good idea to stick to real time stretching until you're happy with your timing, and then do a high quality render uh, because uh, then every time you do a change of render, it takes time. Yeah, I know that high quality is, is not good if you're doing lots and lots of edits. YouTube does allow 4K streaming. I have had a play with it, but it takes a lot of bandwidth, Joe. <laughs> so very good question there. Uh, anything else here to answer at the moment? I think that's all. Let's get into some reggae music then, uh, especially for Britex09. And like I say, if you've got any other questions, I can see Caleb's watching in from uh, Ghana right now. Uh, I also got Curland. Uh, Capel as well. Uh, Paul Orr is there. Wow, fantastic. Do you usually use uh, Reverb default for the ending of Reverb then? Uh, yeah, Reverb is something I would use quite often to, to end tracks off. Uh, and Studio Reverb is my favorite. Uh, and do I have some place for plug-in first timers, some video? Uh, actually, that's a really good question. Marcus, I can see, is in as well. Hello to you, Marcus. And Capel uh, as well. There is actually a video I recommend if you are looking for third-party plugins. Let me just hop over to my uh, my channel and see if I can uh, I can find it for you. In fact, uh, I'll drag it onto the screen before I get back to a little bit more editing. Here we go. Back into screen share, and if you search my channel uh, for um, one of my favorites is Waves Audio. If you search for Waves, you'll find a lot of videos about Waves Audio. Uh, but I've got the best plugins for vocal and radio imaging. And uh, Hello, I'm Mike from Music. Yeah, that's me. And you can see, obviously, I'm talking about... Oh, isn't that cool? I've never seen that before. As a sponsored bit below my video, it actually has links uh, to the Waves audio plugins. Amazing. How relevant and how cool. Um, so, yeah, you can check that one out. The title of the video is The Best Waves Plugins for Vocals and Radio Imaging. Um, so that's a good one to watch. If you're into Isotope, that's another company I really like, Isotope. Just search Isotope on my channel, and you'll see I've done a load of uh, reviews of various different plugins from Isotope. Quite a few of my videos, uh, you see all of these videos here, feature me using an Isotope plugin in one way or another. So uh, definitely search Isotope and have a look at those tutorials too. Otherwise... Feel free to head into the community at community.musicradiocreative.com. Join up, uh, post a question, or search through. There is a category there uh, for audio plugins. If you go into audio production, uh, and then it's, uh, yeah, there's, there's an audio plugin category there. There it is, audio plugins. And you can discuss your favorite plugins in that category there. Uh, right, let's, uh, let's head back and uh, take a look at some uh, reggae mixing now. As we're heading towards the last sort of 20 minutes or so of the show. And I did want to show you a ninja tip. So um, let's kind of do it with reggae, actually. Let's just see whether these, these two tracks are the same BPM. Let's bring these together here and here. And zooming in. Not quite the same BPM. Okay, so we got... We've got four beats there, and then over here we'll do the same. Hang on, that's not right. We've got that the wrong way around. <laughs> okay, so that's four beats there, and that's four beats there. And then we need to make sure that these are matching up at the start as well. Something like this. We'll be able to blend those two together quite seamlessly, like so. Time stretching inside the multi-track. Boom. There you go. Let's try mixing those two together and see how they sound. Dragging out the audio here. Play from the start. And again, you can start to hear it going off beat, so not a problem, just to catch it up. Because obviously this is not an exact science here. It's kind of mixing and matching. That should work a little bit better. Hopefully we'll stay on beat now. Move that out. That's better. So we go from this. Into this. 
and we can mix back and forth as much as we like as long as you've got the BPM correct so that's a good way to edit now what if you want to make things really really super simple and you don't want all this hassle of time stretching and cutting and pasting uh, well, there's another really cool way and I've never used this effect yet on a reggae bed so let's see uh, just how it works let's stretch this out as you can see that goes on for just over 30 seconds there um, what I can do is enable Adobe Audition Remix which is a magical new tool that they recently introduced uh, it was either the start of this year or late last year uh, that Remix came out. Enable Remix, it's in the right-click settings, only on the latest versions of Audition, though. Remix, Enable Remix, boom, analyzes the clip. You've also got something in that Remix menu called Remix Properties, which is interesting, uh, which are, yeah, it takes you over to this dialog box here. So then you can choose what you want. Um, stretch to an exact duration. You've got all kinds of different features there. Let's just show you how this works, though. Instead of a, a time stretch white triangle, it gives you a, a zigzag triangle now. So we're using Adobe Audition Remix. And obviously, I can't make a small adjustment like that. It has to be a bit bigger. Say if I, I just push that down to nearly 20 seconds now, boom. And you see here, it makes a jagged line. means it's made a cut and made this around 20 seconds now, this bed. So the algorithm has detected the, uh, the beats inside this track, and it's decided where to make that slice. Let's see how it sounds. Here's the cut now. You wouldn't even notice it, would you? And then you can say edit length. Do you want it to be short or long? So if we make that really super short, you can see there's the suddenly little cuts going everywhere through this bed. Let's have a listen. So there you go. You can mess it about, put it in the middle and, and see what the algorithm does. You've got features. You can focus on the timbre or the harmonics. So let's bring that up. Obviously, yeah, see now it's affected the, the edit points. So again, it's making edits here and here. Hard to see them. I might need to zoom in a bit more to show you. There's the jagged line now. And now. Perfect, isn't it? Really, really cool stuff. Uh, you can do minimum loop of eight beats, but you could take that right down to two beats if you wanted, make it really small, or you can make it even more, the 21 beats, whatever you want, minimum or maximum slack. So five seconds is the lowest it will go to. So kind of margin of error there of five seconds. If you take it up, obviously it's going to stretch your bed out because you're giving it less to work with, like 10 seconds. Uh, so yeah, really advanced thing. You can disable remix, puts the track back to normal, or click it again and uh, enable remix and it's back on and doing its magic as well. Um, but it doesn't just stop there. You can actually use Adobe Audition Remix in the Essential Sound panel. And in just a moment, I will um, I will get back and I will show you how exactly that works. Do you remember there's a phone number, though, if you would like to speak yeah. on the air? It's always lovely to hear from uh, someone who's watching the live stream. Call in to me live. I've got a phone number, and this is the number you can call. 800 And plus one if you're outside the US Check how much it's going to cost before calling MusicRadioCreative.com <laughs> Joe says It looks like that hand is rubbing my back Oh yes, oh that's, that's so nice Oh, uh, bit to the left That's it Ah Lovely. I'm getting a I'm getting a, a neck massage from a, a gigantic hand. <laughs> lovely stuff, isn't it? Lovely, lovely, lovely. Uh, yes, he's he's petting me. That's what's going on right now. A giant massage finger. <laughs> I'm glad that's entertaining you. Did I consider building a real echo chamber? Daniel's asking. Never considered that before. Interesting. Um, not not quite sure. Um, yeah, it's nothing that's ever crossed my mind. But uh, if it's something that would be a benefit, then I'm all up for hearing more about uh, what it would be good for. <laughs> you guys are having such a laugh about that giant hand behind me now. Now I can see it. I'll be totally distracted by that. Waves loves me, and I love Waves as well. Um, I wonder if Waves gets paid for the spot. No, there is no exchange of money, although the link that I use, mrc.fm slash waves, uh, will give me a little bit of credit uh, to allow me to uh, purchase an experiment with uh, new plugins. So that's the only kind of kickback I get at the present moment uh, if you decide to use that link. And, of course, I'm very grateful. If you do, it supports the show. It supports me able being able to get more plugins and, uh, and bring them to you uh, on the live stream. 
Uh, very kind, Britek09. Thank you for your, your kind comments. Uh, David says, Remix is clever. Yes, it is. It's really clever. <laughs> and you guys are still laughing about the, uh, the gigantic hand behind me. Yes, yeah, it's, it's very, very strange, isn't it? Uh, there we go. All right. So uh, any more questions, just feel free to post them wherever you're watching live right now. Just uh, just get in there. Uh, oh, wow. It's nice to see uh, my old friend JC is uh, is watching on Facebook Live right now. Jeremy, it's uh, wonderful to see you. Uh, and uh, he's saying, on average, how many tracks do you use in a bed? Or is it case by case? Well, usually I'd only use one music bed in a, in a production, especially if it's like a radio promo or a, a commercial for a business or something like that. Occasionally we get these jobs where we have to um, mix together three or four different beds. For whatever reason, we're showcasing a, a piece of music or an album or maybe it's like a different themed nights at a restaurant and we say, you know, on Monday it's Italian night, on Tuesday it's uh, Arabian night and on uh, Wednesday it's Australian night and we kind of go from, you know, the, the Italian music to the Arabian music to the didgeridoo or something like that. Uh, so that's all kind of clever blending and some of the techniques I'm showing you there. Uh, and Hugo is also watching on Facebook Live as well. Gosh, I'm really enjoying that neck rub, actually. It's, it's very, very nice, but I think I'm going to have to call it to an end. Goodbye. Right, okay. <laughs> Let's get back to it now. Uh, right. So, uh, let's have a look here. Uh, what are we going to do? Uh, <laughs> last 10 minutes of the show, uh, I have demonstrated Adobe Audition Remix. Um, I did want to show you how it works in Essential Sound, and if we've got time, I might have a play with some stems as well. Um, so, let me bring in a music bed that is 1 minute and 37 seconds. Oh. Listen to that. There you go. A bit of rock music playing away. And what I want to do is I want to make it so that that's uh, exactly 30 seconds. Let's listen to how it ends. That's cool. Uh, so if I want to make this a 30-second piece of music, really easy way to do it is going to Essential Sound. Let me just pull this over like this uh, and show you. So if I click Music here and then I say Duration, I tick that. Obviously, it adds the loudness standard as well click duration, and then I can say I want this to be a certain target, or I can go to the preset here, remix to 30 seconds, and boom, analyzing clip, come on, rock on a bit more, and wow, look at that, there is your 30 second music bed, wonderful, could not be better, could it, uh, works really well, I mean, it's just slightly off 30 seconds, bit of decay and reverb at the end, and you will be sweet, three edit points in there. Something else I should show you as well is that you can right click and you can go into remix and you can say uh, split remix clip into segments and then if you want to DIY it then gives you the crossfades that it applied. So if you think the crossfade is a bit too generous you can kind of tighten it down uh, and do things like that or you can make the crossfade longer if you want. You can move things around uh, so I could uh, make a... Uh, oh, this is all put together as a group by the way. Uh, so I, I don't know if I can ungroup this. Let's see. Groups, group clips. Okay, now it's ungrouped so if I want I can just pull that off <laughs> just like that. So you can, you can kind of have full control if you want. Um, but yeah, loads of cool fun stuff going on there. Right, my final project today is going to be, especially for you, I'm going to uh, remix uh, one of the MRC jingles. I know, I think it was Liam earlier that mentioned the MRC uh, Iris theme. We do have the MRC Iris theme. But actually, I'm going to go for, uh, let's go for Aphrodite, because uh, that's not featured enough on the show. Uh, like I say, any of the, um, the themes uh, that you hear on um, the Music Radio Creative live stream are available to purchase from musicradiocreative.com and you can have them customised uh, for your own project. So whatever that is, if it's a radio station, a business you've got, if it's uh, a lecture, a webinar, and you want your own jingle, just like I use jingles like this one, musicradiocreative.com. You can have one customised for you as well. That's what we do here at Music Radio Creative. Um, so, yeah, I've just gone and grabbed the stems uh, for MRC Aphrodite, what we can do is go in here. Now, by default, this jingle, oh, hang on. I'm going to start a new session. It's going to use just the uh, default template. Uh, so we've got no funky presets going on. Uh, drag them all in and place them all onto their own tracks. Boom, like that. And that's the Aphrodite jingle. 
like this. But what I can choose to do is uh, bring this to the end. So say I want a 30 second jingle to suddenly be a 60 second jingle, I can do so. Let's grab the drums and I can actually loop the drums round. Actually what might be really cool to do, we can kind of build the drums up here. And I might just like literally copy this bit here, like so, up until that section there. I'm going to show you how to make a loop for something you quite fancy. Uh, new, oh, not multi track, new audio file, paste those drums in. And I might do something like this now that I've got this where I want it to be. Hang on, let's go back to this session here. So uh, I might choose to start off my music bed that's going to progress in time like this. One, two, three, four, one. Okay, cool. And I'm just going to tighten that up. So that is about right. There we go. And then we're going to bring it back in from that point. So if I wanted to build this jingle up and remix this, this music bed or jingle bed as it is, I can turn on snapping for a moment. Now I've got that all perfectly done. Snap this together like so. Oh, a phone call. Hello, Music Radio Creative. You're live. Who's this? Oh, mate, it's Tim Pittelfer. Hey, Tim, nice to hear from you. You're breaking up just a little bit, but what can I do you for today? Sorry, yeah, it's, it's my internet connection, but I just want to call you and say what a great job you're doing. Oh, Tim, I appreciate you. That's very kind of you. And I appreciate everybody in the community as well, because they all do a great job. They certainly do. Are you, in, are you on the community forum quite often? Yes, I am, yeah. I've just checked out uh, David... Uh, What's his name? David, not Silk, the other one. David Hunter? The one that's at work today. <laughs> Must Sorry, be I, David I, Hunter. I'm, I'm the... <laughs> yeah, he created a good mix yesterday, and it's, it's you know, it's like the old, all-star old radio. Oh, wow. It's so a mix. That's over it's at the not, community. Out, it's... Yeah, David Scott, David Hunter, yeah. There he is, It's yeah. over at the community. MRC Dance Beat Mix. I'll have to play that uh, on the show next yeah. week. But, yeah, nice one of you to point it out, Tim. And it's I, really good. Yeah, I'm really grateful for the phone call and the encouragement. What are you up to today? Are you working on anything? I'm just watching I'm just watching you off the show and doing a bit of editing later on. No, nice. I just thought I'd give you a call at the end of your show, you know, just well, I'm grateful. Because you haven't had a call. <laughs> That's really nice of you, Tim. And, Tim, you're up in uh, Middlesbrough, aren't you? Yes, I am, yeah. Excellent. Well, I really appreciate you calling and the kind comments. And, uh, yeah, stick at it, Tim. And um, thanks for calling in. Thanks, mate. See you soon. All right. Have a good one. Bye. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye. Uh, there you go. Tim in uh, Middlesbrough in the UK. Wonderful. It is really nice uh, to get a phone call, actually. So I'm, I'm dead chuffed about that. Uh, let me loop this. Loop mode on. And then we just drag that out and loop that baby as much as we want. Uh, and I just got to think about my my end game here. I'm coming up on towards the end of the stream now. Oh, there we go. So you see the loop actually it snaps as well, which is nice when you've got snapping mode on. It snaps there, and I can snap that there. And then we're probably gonna so we could do something like this. I mean, this is not going to be super accurate, but. Um, let's try and get it as close as possible. Something like this. See how that sounds. So that's not quite right, is it? Oh. 
But what we have got is we've got a build-up drum bed here. And we can bring whatever we want in. So uh, if I wanted to start uh, with the, the bass in, we could uh, bring some bass in like this. And essentially you're building your own music bed that can then eventually build up to the full crescendo, which is the MRC Aphrodite jingle. Um, but yeah, maybe more on that another time as we're into the, the last minute of the show. It has been fantastic to have you watching today. Really appreciated the, the phone call from Tim, by the way, uh, who's just made a big smiling emoji uh, into the chat box. Lovely to hear from you, Tim. Also, the others I didn't get a chance to mention. Sorry if I missed your comment. I don't do it on purpose. Sometimes it just gets very busy. Uh, but I can see Eugene, uh, you've recently been active. Joyce and Rum as well. Uh, Isa as well. Nice to see you. Jeffrey 102 uh, and the, the fun uh, that David and Joe have been having about the giant finger that's been rubbing my neck during the show as well. Have a fantastic weekend. Uh, make it a creative one. And I'll catch you on Monday from 2pm UK time for MRC Live. <laughs>